Okay, so it's been a little while since we've actually been on Facebook. It's been a little while since we've been getting videos out to you guys, and I apologize. We, me and Alethea and our family I have actually been moving around a little bit, and we've actually moved twice in the past like uh, four or five months. And we're settled in now, so we got, we got, we're getting back to work on our artwork side and our business. And We've been having people talk about and asking us where we are and why aren't their videos out and what happened, right? And it's just that we've been kind of busy with moving around. Uh, life is happening, and it's it's great. It's kind of it's kind of put us in that state of really just taking advantage of the time with our family and really settling into a life of our own. So, with that said, we have a new series that we're excited to launch in the honor of the Halloween season. And we're stepping into a chapter where we're taking urban legends. We're taking people's experiences with like things supernatural or ghost stories or things that they've grown attached to in their lifetime. Things that they remember as kids growing up in different households or being around certain areas. So the reason this came up was I've always wanted to do something like this. Always wanted to step into the realm of of grasping the attention of things supernatural or things that are just kind of out of the ordinary because if you know me personally I'm super into this stuff like it's 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 a huge part of my life I like I like things like aliens and ghost stories and urban legends and we actually had the opportunity to, to step into this full force with a couple of buddies of mine and we actually met them probably about a couple months ago now Zach and Kasani far away they own an art company called Far Away Fine Art. And I met them at, in Croydon, Montana, I think at Native Days. And they had all this, this cool uh, Native American style art, really traditional style, but they put their own, their own tone to it. And we we're looking on Zach's page and we found, we found a, a piece that really just grabbed us, Alethea and I. And it was, it's, it's an image called Hush that Zach created. It's an original art piece and I actually had this sitting in our home. Zach, was, Zach and his wife were kindly enough to give it to Alethea and I as our engagement present. And this sparked a huge conversation with Zach and Kisani and Alethea and I of what chapter can we step into to where we grasp these, these concepts of urban legends. And that's the concept we're going with. So this new chapter of Far Away Fine Art and Fall in Our Artwork is actually going to be diving into the realm of urban, urban legends. Different cultures and what ser sort of urban legends surround those cultures and why can't you talk about certain things? Like in Montana, there's, a, there's one thing about an owl of why that's, a, that's, a, that's like a sus suspicion about it brings death and, and stuff like that. Different, I've noticed that there's a pattern with different, different tribes as well, different cultures that have the owl inside of them. So why is it so hard to talk about these things? And, and how can we grasp that as artists to bring that out? So the, the project we're going to work on with Far Away Fine Art is actually diving deep into this. What experiences have you had growing up? We're actually going to be scheduling interviews with people and talking about the experiences that they've had growing up and experiences that they've actually had today. Places they worked, places like the battlefield in Croatia, Montana, or Crow, Crow School. There's a lot of legends and a lot of stories happening around that too. Different graveyards and things. What did people saw and how can we translate that onto a canvas? And more importantly, how can we get those to you guys? So in the honor of the Halloween season, I hope you guys join me because this is exciting to me and my team and far away fine art. It's gonna be something to to watch and something to remember. We're gonna have a lot of cool things lined up coming in the coming two months. So 
I'll see you guys soon. I hope you guys stick with me, like the page, like the video. And if you guys have stories of your own that you guys have experienced in your lifetime, ghost stories, growing up, can touch certain, certain things or can talk about certain things, inbox us. DM, us. DM me on this page and tell me your story and maybe we'll feature you guys on a video. Thank you guys so much. See ya. This is probably the weirdest probably thing you're ever gonna see. Gonna see. This is our biggest and strangest project yet. Mysteries that surround, surround your culture. culture. My name is Cidel Enoch. Your stories. Your stories. Tell me your stories. <laughs> Ghost stories. Urban legends. The stories we have heard already are insane. These stories, These stories need to be told. Need to be told. Why are urban legends so sacred to culture? I have kept the side of me locked up for a long time. It's time to let it out.